Hello there, Aquarius. Um, let me talk a little bit about the image that came through when I was shuffling for you guys. Um, I know I do this a lot with a lot of uh, Aquarius videos, I believe. So, but you know, the card's coming out. So let me just talk about that in conjunction with the image, okay? That I saw. So birthday time is all about, you know, astrologically speaking, it's called a solar return. When the solar... Um, entity which is the sun is making a conjunction to your natal chart okay so for example if you're born in if you're an Aquarius and you're watching this the sun is returning to the um, placement in Aquarius so basically the two sun the sun in the present time and your natal sun is like basically making a conjunction is right next to each other and what that means is that it's going to really highlight the things associated associated with the sun. And the first card that came out here is the sun. And so I'm very compelled to reiterate this message for you guys, okay? The sun is about success, okay? It's about getting visibility. It's about being in the limelight. It's about warmth, regeneration, a lot of emphasis on your health having good health, doing things to kind of like um, get more physically active, getting your metabolism up. It is also about career breakthroughs. It's also about making great strides when it comes to your professional life, okay? Uh, in some aspect, the sun is also about individuality, right? And Aquarius people are very original, are very eccentric, are very individualistic. And so all of these areas of your life will be highlighted, especially if you are an Aquarius sun watching this in the month of February. And so the reason I bring this up is because the card fell out. And so I feel like, you know, in when we have that conjunction of the, our, our natal sun conjuncting or lining up with our, uh, the sun transiting our sign, it basically means that you're going to have a lot of attention on you. You're going to be able to draw a lot of things to you. So make sure your thoughts are positive. Make sure that you think about and dream about and manifest positive things. Make sure you do whatever you can within your capabilities to not be mired in self-doubt, to not manifest negative people, to not dwell on people that are not good for you and to not dwell on situations and thought patterns and um, even habits that are unhealthy for you okay this is a really good time for us to reinvent ourselves okay so um, I needed to say that because I feel like for those of you I, I feel many of you have actively tried to purge bad things habits people from your life you're starting over with a very clean slate i'm hearing as well clean bill of health you're really conscientious about taking care of yourself bodily and and soul okay more so body but i feel like you know um the soul aspect is coming up too okay so the image that came through when I was shuffling the cards is I see this countryside landscape and it looks like um, it might be in the 60s or the 70s and I see this hobo okay it's like um, he, he looks like a traveler okay there's nothing wrong with hobos I feel like he's content he's happy wandering from place to place okay uh, on on an adventure but he's by himself and he has like a satchel of his belongings and it's, uh, you know, tied onto a stick and he has the stick on his shoulders, okay? So he's walking along and his shoes are really worn out. His shoes seem to be made from rubber tires. They're worn out and he sees a, a tree, like a very small tree in the distance and he walks over. There's a little bit of shade under the tree so he sits down under the tree just uh, taking a rest and trying to get a little bit of shade so it's hot outside he's sitting under this tree and he's contemplating okay he's uh thinking about like what's my next step okay like uh where am i going where am i headed okay so i feel like for many of you this is like where you're at right now 
content. He doesn't feel like he's starving to me. He doesn't feel like he's cold. He doesn't feel like he's uncomfortable. He's just taking a little bit of a rest to try to figure out uh, what's my next step, okay? Where am I headed? And so a little bit of time passes and I see this group of people. It's like a an oddball group, okay? They seem like they might um, be a part of a band one of them is playing the harmonica. One of them is, and they're all like a mix of colors, genders, like a group of like five people. They seem like they, uh, it's like a hodgepodge of characters forming a group. And they're walking in front of him, like on this road next to that tree, they're just walking in front of him. One of them has a harmonica and this person is dark skin. I'm, I'm not able to see his face. I'm seeing the back of him walking. And then the other person is like a juggler. He has like balls in his hand. And then one of them is playing the banjo. And then another one is like, um, um, she's throwing up like a baton and she's catching it. So it seems almost like a circus. So the word I'm hearing is, oh, that's a riot. Okay, a riot, a circus, something really fun, something that tickles your fancy. And he looks at these characters and he was just all like, I want to join them. I want to see where they're headed. It looks fun. And so he grabs his satchel, he grabs his stick, and then he runs off after them. And then he just, you know, fits right in and he walks alongside them to their next adventure. And so what I'm feeling from this is um, there's definitely a situation here, Aquarius, where you have found a place that you really belong, okay? And um, it, it seems to me like it fits like a glove. It's a good fit. It's uh, eccentric enough that I like it. And it is um, exciting enough that it really draws your attention. And it doesn't bore you. And the situation itself is like unpredictable enough where it keeps you on your toes. So I feel like there's something here that is really, you're, you're finding yourself, like you're finding yourself in a place where you feel like it's a perfect fit, okay? For many of you, this can be in a work environment where you are really hitting it off with a lot of people. You're also in an environment that you find that you're thriving, is challenging enough, is exciting enough, is new enough, every day is different. And so you never come to work bored or never dragging your feet or never feeling like, I don't really wanna to go to work today. So I feel like for many of you, this might be the case, okay? What I have here is the sun. And once again, um, visibility, professional development, having a lot of things that um, you want out of your professional life, okay? And a lot of it has to do with this. This is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about understanding, okay? For an air sign such as yourself, um, I feel like air signs are really much about expanding their knowledge, expanding their mind, expanding their intelligence, okay? Everything that you do, like recreational reading, you want it to serve a purpose to educate you, to expose you to what's happening around the world, for example. The movies that you want, watch, you know, you want a movie that is not just, you know, um, cars blowing up and, and houses blowing up. You want a movie with substance. You want something that will teach you either something about the world, something about human nature, or even something about, you know, like um, human potential or what humans are capable of even in dire situation. And so I feel as if there's a work situation here that encompasses all of these things that you have long desired, okay? And I feel that in this environment, you feel like it's a perfect fit. This is such a happy looking goat, okay? It's forward-looking, happy about the future, optimistic, thinking about all the potential, all the possibilities, and it's proving to be really good and very stable and especially very um, exciting. And I, I feel for many of you, you have found yourself in this situation. And the greatest part is Aquarius. It came to you, okay? So I feel like for many of you, you're embarking on a new phase, 
Okay, you might have been that hobo under that tree taking a little bit of a rest away from life and thinking about, you know, what's my next step? What will bring me emotional satisfaction? What will make me really happy right now? So what I'm seeing in this spread is, you know, finances is looking really good. Your professional development is on point. And so I feel for many of you, there's this mix of like perfect contentment and then also looking around, scanning the horizon and trying to figure out what's the next step? What's the next adventure that I can, you know, um, get my feet wet with? What's the next opportunity for me? What is the natural progression? Okay. Um, for some of you too, I do sense this is in a uh, relationship type of a situation where you are finding somebody that is like a really good fit for you, okay? I feel like they understand your quirks. They're probably just as eccentric and as quirky as you are. And I also feel like there's enough here where the other person is like eccentric, quirky, different from you. But then I also feel like it's a very, very good match, okay? And so... I have here so many cards that indicate to me, you know, a lot of emotional fulfillment. And then I'm also sensing a lot of, um, I, I see this warmth that's radiating from these cards. So I feel that it is going to be um, a very passionate month, okay? Um, let me talk about this. First of all, the person that you feel is the right fit. I have here the six of cups and the two of cups okay i love these cards so the six of cups is like that childhood innocence okay that sense of adventure that sense of exploration and puppy love like when you meet somebody for the very first time you get the butterflies in your stomach right and you can just like catch a glimpse of them once like just a glimpse of them in the day or they can just send you a text and you feel like this flutters of butterfly in your stomach in the pit of your stomach and that feeling lasts all day it's like that puppy love infatuation and etc and then we have the two of cups which is a kindred soul connection that we have with another person this is about stability trust and it takes a great deal of trust for anybody to end up in this position with another, uh, like a significant other, okay? The Two of Cups is about friendship, having a lot of mutual respect for one another. And at the same time, like, um, even if you're very different, I feel like on a foundational level, in some fundamental way, you understand each other. You don't have to over explain. Even if you argue, you can you know agree to disagree you can make it up to the other person you don't stay mad at them for so long they don't stay mad at you for too long and so even despite your ideological differences i feel that you're able to open yourself up and be warm and 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 cuddly with this person so i feel like there's somebody here that has really melts melted that icy exterior for a uh, an aquarius it's somebody who you put a lot of faith in, you have a lot of trust in, and the relationship is built on a lot of respect and, you know, mutual affection, okay? It's like, it's not about just loving somebody, it's about liking the other person, liking their kindness, liking the little things about them, knowing that they are a really good person and really falling for somebody because they, they are a good soul. It's like loving somebody's soul because it's kind, it's gentle. I feel for many of you, you have somebody in your midst who's really sweet. Like they're very kind. They're, they're, um, I'm, I'm feeling here like, um, they're, it's like you're putty in their hands. You can act sweet. You can act cute. You don't have to, um, I, I guess like you can be silly around them or you don't even need to take yourself too seriously around them. Um, you can let your guard down. You know that they're they're soft and cuddly, like they would never do anything to hurt you. 
You don't have to watch yourself around them. You don't have to question ulterior motives. You don't have to, you know, put your guard up. So I feel like you're with somebody who you understand on a very deep soul intuitive level. And this relationship has a lot of protection around it. Even if you get mad, you won't stay mad for too long. Even if there are misunderstandings, the both of you are patient enough and enlightened enough to want to, you know, hash things out. Couple with the Six of Cups, this is a soul connection that is, you know, from the past, okay? I usually see them, these two cards, if they appear in tandem, it's a situation where two people, you know, can really, it, it, it's like you can just meet somebody and you feel like you've known them a lifetime. It's because you have shared many lifetimes together in the past. And so your soul recognizes each other and everything feels very comfortable. Okay. So I almost look at it, look at the cards like this. It's like, look at who we can become in the future or look at what we can become in the future. So I feel like for many of you, you're planning a life together with another person. You're trying to work out the logistics of how things are going to work. How are our families going to get along? Where are we going to live? Are we living with your in-laws or my in-laws? Are we taking in like, um, are we getting a puppy? Are we having children? There's a lot of planning here about the logistics of, you know, living together, working together, getting married, getting engaged, um, moving in together, um, buying property together. So like there is a huge escalation here when it comes to your emotional life. And with Aquarius people, you know, independence is something that you really crave, okay? You want to be able to come and go as you please. You like to be able to, you know, have your freedom and not have to be accountable for anybody, not have to wait on people, especially because we're not super patient, right? If, um, if we want to, for example, switch our jobs, and move from one city to the next we don't really want to have to take anybody into account because i feel like it slows us down a little bit and it's a little can be a little bit frustrating having to work out you know and coordinate with other people it can get frustrating but i do feel there's another there is a person here in your life that you don't mind doing these things with so once upon a time it might have just been you know Kind of like oh i'll do it at on my timeline or you know whatever tickles my fancy i'll go for it okay in this moment in time i do feel that your outlook literally looking up your outlook is a little bit different you're no longer that uh lone wolf okay um or that um you're no longer like you're finding yourself part of a herd okay where you're willing to compromise and you're willing to make sacrifices. And I do feel for many of you, this is a union. And then for others of you, this is like being a team player where you could be in a work environment and um, you're starting to see how your contributions uh, affect the, the whole. And you want it to be not only harmonious you want it to be productive and so i feel that you're finding an environment that you can really thrive in you're finding green pasture for you to graze okay you're finding like uh, stepping stones i'm hearing stepping stones here because goats they like to climb mountains so this is this is almost like stepping stones on the side of that cliff or that crevice that will allow you to you know jump from one crevice to the next so that you can reach the sun. So this is a huge escalation when it comes to your personal and professional endeavor and huge, huge leaps as well when it comes to your emotional life. What I have here is the Ace of Cups, okay? And um, when I mentioned, when I said huge leaps when it comes to your emotional life, what I mean is this. We have here the King of Swords, okay? This is your energy, Aquarius. And um, this is, I like to look at this reading, okay? Logic and justice, okay? The thing about this person is the, the way they approach love and relationships, okay? 
They're very logical. They're very methodical. They like fairness. They like reciprocity. Okay. And um, as a king energy, okay, the king beckons the peasants to come to him, right? To pay tribute, to pay homage, to pay dues, right? The king doesn't venture out, right? And so this is all about self-protection, okay? Being in this um, area or in, in this home situation, this is an indoors uh, type of a king. He's on his throne. He's assessing situation with a very discerning eye, okay? And so I feel like for many of you, um, I'm sensing that love has left you very, very jaded, okay? And I do feel for many of you, I see this energy about many of you burying yourself in work and that's why your work life and your finances is going so swimmingly well. Um, you res resorted to overworking or just working so that you don't have to feel, okay? Numbing yourself, self-medication through work. And um, when you revert to this space where things are logical, where things make sense, it makes life a lot easier to deal with, okay? Because the realm of emotion for an Aquarius is really, really messy. Um, all the emotional questions are constantly open-ended. You know, does how does she feel about me? No one knows. How does he feel about me? No one knows. So the realm of emotion for you, it's not easy for you to navigate. And so you like ideas because ideas are easy to understand. Okay, there is a concept, there is proof, there's evidence to support these concepts or these ideas. And so everything makes sense. But emotions are, you know, by nature, they're not supposed to be rational. And so that's an area where I feel like a lot of people, Aquarius people fumble. The need to know, the need to understand uh, emotions in a way that is not supposed to be rational or logical or even possible. And so there was a situation here. I feel like a relationship partner has left you very, very jaded, okay? And I feel that you really dove deep with this person. This is a deep dive here, Ace of Cups, okay? Someone has evoked feelings in you that you haven't felt in a very long time, okay? This is somebody that once upon a time you really trusted and you gave them 100%. You love this person with total abandon. And I feel that this is kind of like, I, I want to say this is like the love of the lifetime, of a lifetime where you used it or you used this person as the standard and you measure everything else and everybody else who came after you, you measure all the other people against this person. So this is like your gold standard. This is like your barometer of who's a good partner, who's a good girlfriend, who's a good boyfriend. Let's say if this person's name is Dave, okay? Every day that you go on, you're going to be like, well, Dave always opened the door for me. Or Dave always remembers my birthday. Or Dave always, you know, uh, plan dates, okay? So this person had really, really stunning qualities about them. And I feel as if it was really hard for you to recover from this breakup. And it potentially was very difficult for you to feel like you can love with this total abandonment like you did in the past with whoever that was, Dave, okay? And so I feel as if you're measuring um, a lot of people against this person to make sure that they make the cut or to make sure that, that um, so that you can recapture, not because you're stuck on this person, but I feel that so that you can recapture uh, so that you can kind of like keep yourself on point and, and to keep yourself on the straight and narrow about who's a good person. So if the next person doesn't uh, exhibit these really good qualities of, that you've seen in this person, you might not give them the time of, of day. So it's not that you're stuck on a person. 
is that this person had really good legitimate qualities that you want to find in other people and there's nothing wrong with that and i feel that um in the past it might have been reverse you might have been stuck on this person in the past and you wanted to date other people to recapture the feelings you had for this person or to recapture this person but i feel like you're in the process where you're letting go and you're while you still care about this person and look up to this person you have smartened up you have become very realistic about love and expectations and about what you want and versus what you need and so we're and i i'm not trying to be patronizing about this at all okay uh, Aquarius, I feel that you're living your love life with a healthy dose of romanticism, but also realism, which is a good balance, right? Because it takes both in order to make a relationship work. And it takes a, you know, a healthy dose of reality and romanticism for a relationship to really thrive. And I feel that's where we are now. The Six of Cups, this is all about, you know, like infatuation, those feelings that are very naive, but that are also very pure. But when the rubber hits the road, you know, in the daily trials and tribulations of a relationship, there's, you know, a lot of stressors that could really hurt or hinder a relationship. Children, the stress with work, the stress with promotion, health issues, even uh, all the time constraints that we have during the day. So, like, while this passion and this, you know, puppy love, it's very pure and it's really um, stimulating, the reality is we need a lot of compatibility and common ground and mutual understanding and friendship in order for a relationship to work, right? So this passion is great and it's exciting, but then I also feel like with this Two of Cups, at the end of the day, we want somebody who we can come home to and build a, a life with, right? So I feel that you're becoming a lot more realistic when it comes to your love and your, your love life and your expectations, okay? So I'm also feeling as well, um, there's another message that I that is coming through here. Um, You've turned your back on somebody. You've turned your back on somebody. And let me, this is uh, two of pentacles, okay? This is like leaping away, okay? This is not just about walking away. This is about leaping away, taking your energy and your attention and taking it elsewhere, okay? A leap, it, it happens very, very quickly. It happens overnight where, you know, you, you just wake up and you're just like, I'm not in love with that person anymore. And you just like leap away, like emotionally, there's that rift or physically there's a rift. Okay. And it's a very, very large rift that can't really be repaired. And so I feel like you were grappling with this decision for quite some time. So the two of pe uh, pentacles, okay? Juggling, juggling two things, okay? And uh, I feel like the, the juggle act was all about, oh, there was a juggler that I saw earlier too. So there was a juggling act and the juggling act is not about, you know, juggling another person. I feel like this is an internal situation for many of you. It's all about freedom versus you know codependency okay how do we live together and be with another person without losing our sense of freedom how do we couple up with another person without losing our sense of individuality so these were some of the concepts you were juggling trying to weigh out how to find that perfect balance how to find that rhythm with another person when we share space with another person, we also have to, you know, figure out their rhythm, their footwork, so that we can um, kind of like blend into their world and have them blend into ours without creating cla like a clash. And so I feel like, you know, these are some of the areas that you're handling for this month. This fine line between us 
versus me, okay? And then freedom versus like uh, dependency. And once again, independence versus dependence. And so you're navigating this energy. And we have as well, this is the shaman. I don't know why they call it the shaman, but it's pretty much the hierophant. So this is divine wisdom and spiritual power. And this is, I feel, is the greatest Aquarius card ever. It's a big eagle with a very large wingspan, okay? So eagles are very, have really, really good eyesight, okay? They can spot things from really far away and they can hone down and swoop in and capture whatever it is that, that they want. So I feel like in this depiction, it is being discerning and knowing knowing exactly what you're looking after uh, or what you're after. I feel for many of you, you might be like dating, like socially dating uh, on online or through speed dating websites or something. And within like three seconds, you're like, nope, 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 this person's not gonna work. And you know exactly what you want. So your power of discerning is very strong. And if you are single, I highly recommend that you go, you know, dating because we have Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, you're in your element, okay? You have your solar return, try to manifest things that you want that are positive for you. Enough about that. I wanna talk a little bit about this person in the middle here. I feel like you took a, a break from a person, Four of Swords. This is a rest and um, relaxation, but this is sanctuary is what the card says. This is a person that you might have um, stopped communicating with, okay? This is somebody who's self-indulgent, okay? This is somebody who's also um, very stubborn. And Aquarius, you guys naturally very like stubborn people. You, you like them. You like people who can hold their own, okay? And you like people who are strong in their beliefs. You like people who can defend themselves. Like you, you like people that know who they are. And so I feel like you were dealing with someone who might have been like a, a your match. Okay, you might have met your match. They're just as stubborn as you are. Um, I also feel though that this person might have been a little bit lazy in their pursuit of you. I feel like they're overindulgent they overestimated and i feel like they're they're lazy so they might have been a lazy boyfriend or girlfriend and they didn't you know plan the dates they took you for granted they didn't uh, put in the work just lazy okay so i'm sorry cross watchers but that's what i'm seeing so i have to say it as i see it um i feel like you are very upset look at this this is someone who's very pissed off okay i feel like you were very upset I also feel like you were very hurt. I feel that this person had some good qualities, of course, right? We all have our good and bad traits. And I feel like the uh, end of the relationship left you feeling very unfulfilled, unsatisfied, um, upset with the other person, but also upset with yourself that you wasted a lot of time, a lot of energy, okay? This is like a, um, this is like expended energy that we can never give back or, or get back, I'm sorry. Or like the time, recoup the time that we could never get back. Recoup the fi resources that we can never get back. You're very, very upset with this person. I feel like this person might've been very controlling as well. And it's really hard to control an Aquarius. Aquarius, do not let anybody control them. And because you're really strong, you didn't let this person control you. I felt like they reverted to, you know, very underhanded ways in which they control you. They might've been very manipulative. They might've been very like, uh, not like uh, evasive. You can never catch them in the act, right? And so I feel like you were dealing with somebody that you're, you're very, very upset with. And I feel that they wanted to communicate with you. And I feel that they're reaching out and I feel that you are bouncing away. Okay, so I, uh, I do wanna say, prepare for that conversation. 
it's never um, a good thing to leave things unfinished, okay, in life, okay? So I, I do feel um, it is our, I guess, like, it is our destiny to try to resolve everything, resolve conflict, resolve misunderstanding, resolve disputes, okay? And never leave on bad terms, okay? With a job situation, with a friend, with a family member, okay? And especially with family members because you know one day they'll be gone right so I feel like like the message here is not to be so quick to bounce away but I do feel like for some of you there somebody's trying to reach out and they're hurt okay because of the lack of response and I feel that you you have also been hurt and you don't want to deal with it right and so the 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 aquarius instinct is oh it's it's emotional it's unfamiliar it's uncomfortable i i need to get out of it so you withdraw and you move away and so i feel that we have to kind of like uh, go against this natural urge and rather and and you know have this conversation I feel like that would do wonders for you when it comes to your emotional development because once upon a time you wanted this conversation and now that the conversation is happening it might have not been the time that you wanted it you wanted it before and it didn't happen but now that it's here maybe it's time to resolve it so that you can grow as an emotional being okay so I feel like it's an uncomfortable conversation it needs to be had I feel that is bringing out a lot of uh, mixed feelings about uh, within you. Upset, you know, you're upset, uh, you're angry. I, I feel that. I also feel for those of you who have moved on, there's a person in it, for example, if you have moved on, if you have found another person and you have moved on, there's somebody who's very, very upset. They're looking on and they are very hurt. So now I'm, I'm hearing hurt, like, down in the dumps, um, feeling very hurt, feeling like the one that got away, feeling like f understanding that, you know, I was lazy, I didn't put in the work, I was resting on my laurels, I didn't move fast enough, I should have, you know, not let the Aquarius person get away, and now they have moved on, they have bounced away, they have found somebody that they're potentially very emotionally invested in. They could potentially get married and never come back to me. And so I feel that somebody is, is, is mired in heavy and deep regret at the way, the fast speed in which you have moved on for some of you and at the opportunities that they let slip away from them and at how slow and I, I feel like how little effort they put in when they had the chance they put in very very minimal work and I feel that you're seeing it for what it is you're seeing somebody for the sloth that they are okay someone is sloppy someone is um, just you're, you're you're seeing them in in true colors and you're kind of judging and there's nothing wrong with that okay. so just look at this okay like I'm judging you you're over here just you know slobbering and napping and possibly snoring and I feel that it's it's like it's taking it is bringing something somebody might be falling from their pedestal and you're seeing it for what it is and if that's what it takes for you to move on maybe that's what it takes and then for some of you I feel like you know you love somebody so much that they can exhibit all of these characters but at the end of the day you still feel a great deal of love for them because you know it's it's built on a solid footing okay um, so Aquarius, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Um, if there's a conversation that has to be, that needs to be had, um, you definitely should give it a chance just to hear it out because I feel like there's a lot of messages that needs to be conveyed to you from another person, especially a person from the past, okay? Um, for those who are still emailing me about private readings, I do have a link in the description box below for a um, colleague of mine. Her name is Bridget. She's based out of California. She's phenomenal. I highly recommend that you book a reading with her. So um, click on her, the link and it'll take you to her website where you can schedule an appointment for yourself, okay? I will be back for the month of March. I wish you the very best, Aquarius. Have a wonderful, wonderful birthday and Valentine's Day. 
and take care of yourself, okay? Get enough rest. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.